Today I want to make a roast chicken. But what came to mind was when I was younger, there was this Chinese chicken that my mom used to make. Right? She was really big into cooking and things. She was, you know. And the last time I had this roast chicken, like the old school Chinese roast chicken, that flavor, oh, that was the last time I actually taste a Chinese roast chicken that way. That was 22 years ago. All right, and um, so by accident, right? Yesterday, which was Friday, I was making some veggie rice, and I use a cook-up seasoning. And let me see, right? This is the seasoning here, right? And I placed this in it. And then when I was fish, I had a piece of chicken leg, one chicken leg, actually that piece, I had a chicken leg. And I decided to rub some of this on it. I just put it in the broiler and I let it cook. When I tell you, this is the closest thing that I have came across beside the actual Chinese seasoning to get this flip, to get that old school roast chicken Chinese style thing. This is the closest thing that I've come across in years that gave me that authentic taste that I got 22 years ago when my mom made this roast chicken, Chinese style roast chicken. So I want to share this recipe with you because it wasn't intended to be a recipe but I tried it with a chicken leg. But after tasting it, it brought me back to that time with my mom when she made that chicken. Uh, she always used to do courses and things and go and do because she really liked cooking. She really liked uh, food art, like making baskets and, and, and all this kind of food stuff. So she was always into these kind of things. I guess that's where me and my sisters just developed this love for cooking and stuff. Because she was what who was baking, doing all the baking when Christmas time come around. You know, she was that member of the family. I was one strip where the entire family lived, so it was like, you know. That is how we did it growing up, that's what I know. We all come together and do things that help each other. We baking for each other. Who baking this, who doing that. So it was just a real nice time. Okay, I'm straying from the future right now. So I'm going to do this chicken today. And what I am also going to do is roast roast a bygone, homegrown. I'm going to roast that. I'm going to cut it up and season it and roast it. So today also is just a little self-care. Wash it out all that flat iron from my hair and just gonna get my hair a little steam and why we prepare this real healthy recipe. So let's get started with today's recipe. Alright, what should we call this recipe? Roasted eggplant and Chinese style roast chicken. There we have it, but that title too long. Uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, let's get started with today's recipe. I strongly suggest when you're making this recipe and you're using this, do not season your meat with salt. You can season with all the other herbs and spices, but omit salt. Because this is very salty. So if you go to add salt in your seasoning and then go and add this, you'll have an overly salted uh, chicken. And that's not what you want. All right. So now let's coat our meat with the seasoning. And we're going to let that marinate for two hours. All right. Let's go.
Okay, so for the eggplant, I'm going to use some Italian seasoning. I'm going to use some cilantro. I'm going to use some thyme. I need to stock up on some thyme. And some smoked paprika. So, oh, and I'm also going to use some salt. Alright, so let me show you how I'm going to cut up the eggplant and then combine all of the seasonings and rub it into the eggplant. So let's put the eggplant together. After washing my eggplant properly, I'm going to slice slice my eggplant. I'm not going to cut straight through. I'm showing you exactly where I'm going to stop. Barely to the bottom, but with enough remaining where when I cut it and turn them, they wouldn't break off. All right, now you can go straight through and just have slices, but I am just doing this for presentation really, and that's it. So after cutting them into, you could cut as thick or as thin as you see fit, and we are going to season our eggplant with the seasoning that we just went through. So this is the seasoning here that we just went through. I'm just going to mix everything together. And I choose to use less salt because remember, the chicken that we're doing has a lot of salt from that um, cook-up seasoning. So again, if you have Caribbean flavors products where you're living, I strongly suggest you check out their line and see what you could come up with in your kitchen because this was totally by accident where I found this thing working so well on food stuff and not just for a cook up. So I'm sprinkling the seasoning onto my eggplant and once it is coated to my satisfaction, my oven was preheating before um, I started. Or you can just do it like five minutes before so by the time you are done prepping everything you're sure the oven is properly hot if you know your oven takes a little time to get heated then you will do it you know from the time you begin but I would normally preheat my oven at least five minutes before because it hots up really quickly and before I finish the mask that I am using is just a sugar scrub so I'm going to wash it out and finish with the steaming and we're going to continue with the chicken by wrapping it in the bygone or eggplant on the tabletop grill firstly after grilling it. I'm going to wrap it and place it in the oven to cook. Just one piece and the other piece we're going to just bake naturally. Alright, so let's continue. All right, so now that our eggplant is in the oven, I am going to use my tabletop grill as previously mentioned with some almond butter and let that cook on each side. I let that cook on each side for 10 minutes. So while that is cooking, it's about time now because my alarm is going off. So I know it's time to turn our eggplant around. So this is what it looks like now. We're gonna turn that baby around and put it back in the oven. So while that is back on the oven, let's go back to the tabletop grill and turn this around. And you're going to see all those beautiful grill marks coming in. Now this is a non-stick grill, but I did add some almond butter just to add some little extra salt to my eggplant because I don't want to really season the eggplant and you would see why. Alright, so now the one that we had in the oven bacon is finished. I'm going to set that aside. Let's go back to the tabletop. And this is finito. Right? Now I'm going to remove this off the grill. And we are going to go back to the eggplant that we just removed from the oven. And I am going to remove all of it from the skin. We're not going to add any more seasoning to this because this is perfectly seasoned. And once that is done, this is what it looks like. I did not leave the skin on it. Nope. So now let's go back to the one that we had on the grill. Now we're placing the chicken that we seasoned with the Caribbean flavors cook up seasoning. And we're going to wrap it tightly into our eggplant. I'm also going to use some skewers to just to seal it, just an extra form of protection to make sure everything stays in place. So this is what it looks like once it is wrapped properly. 
and we are going to place it in the oven for 10 minutes and I'm going to turn it around and for the next 10 minutes and this is what they both look like after they are finished cooking everything is perfectly cooked so it's finished so I'm going to take a piece of skin and listen to the crunch in this full of flavor I think we need to hear that crunch we really hear that crunch so I'll do over that skin again Okay, let's try it over this skin again. Chicken is full of flavor. Now let's taste the bygone. So nicely cooked. It might look a little dry, but it's perfectly cooked. So let's taste this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. All of that seasoning that we rub, really flavored. The bygan because I grilled the bygan with absolutely no seasoning because I know how salty and full of flavor that seasoning is. So, you see how much thing I was able to enjoy with that Caribbean flavor cook up seasoning. Oh my gosh, this is delicious! Mm -mm. Well, as you know, me and showing so, guys. The wrap came out amazing. The chicken also came out really amazing. Really soft and delicious. So this recipe is truly a success. And all I did is use the Caribbean flavor cook up seasoning. And I'm getting that little tiny roast chicken flavor wow <laughs> really good thanks for watching guys come again bye